Okay, let's see my solution. So for this one, I'm doing a factor plot. And remember, even though this is called a bar chart, well, this is actually done by a, the Seaborn factor plot. And you want to specify the kind as count. Okay, and then uh, for the x-axis, that will be the model year from 1970 to uh, 1982. And well, the data, this set is of course MPG, and then the hue, well, uh, the category the data we want to paint the samples differently uh, will be the origin. And then we also uh, we also uh, do the Y label, that is the number of the car models. Okay, well, and uh, let's do a very quick sum up. So the Seaborn pro uh, provides a better configuration for uh, for the Matplotlib. So remember, uh, if you only want to load the Seaborn and then do a Seaborn.set, well, and then later in the distribution notebook, and you will all use the color and the theme picked by Seaborn instead of the default version by Matplotlib. So you can still do all the visualizations in the way you have learned using the Matplotlib, but the Seaborn will make the visualization a little bit visually pleasant okay and uh, in this video uh, in this lecture we talk about the, uh, the disk plot and then it is a uh, it's a combination of the histogram and the kde the kernel dense the density estimation well we have the pair plot and the pair plot is very useful especially when you're doing the exploratory data analysis uh, to learn get some information or get some idea on how beautiful the data set is. And then we also do the drawing plot and then we can do a drawing distribu distribution with many kinds. And if you want to do a regression line, well, uh, this can be done. And using that regression line, you can also have, you can also have the p-value and uh, the correlation. Okay, well, sometimes, sometimes, well, the Seaborn tend to do a little bit more on adding the color or the features. So what do I mean? So let's, let me come back to one of the plot we have already done here. Okay, so this is a histogram, right? And then that's just the count of the model year. Well, and why I'm complaining about that? You see, well, the background is gray. Well, is that necessary? If we are using the white background, is that okay? That's fine, right? And how about the grease? So we have the grease horizontal, horizontal and vertical. Well, for those grease, do they really mean anything? So let me bring you another one. So for this plot, well, for this pair plot, if we want to do the grease, Yes, that's helpful because we can see, okay, this is this line is for 8.0 and then go here, go here. This is the line for 8.0. So I get that uh, we need the grids. Uh, how about this one? So for this one, uh, I don't really see the grids. Uh, the grids, well, the lines are that necessary because this plot is relatively small. So one of the complaints I want to talk about is sometimes if I'm doing a uh, visualization with a uh, Seaborn, uh, from time to time, I have to do some searches to disable part of the features that the Seaborn provides to me because I argue those features could be a little bit too much. But anyhow, I do think the Seaborn is a nice tool. And then if you don't, if, if you're not a big fan of that, you can try to use the Override of the uh, the C, uh, the Seaborn's override of the default matplotlib, and you may find that is visually pleasant. Okay, so that's it for today, and see you tomorrow. Bye.